So this year's EGX will be returning to the NEC in Birmingham on the 24th to the 27th of September, rather than in London where the main event normally is. Usually the rest is around Birmingham or North the Midlands sort of area. But this time they've gone with the main event being in the central location so it's easier for more people to get to from across the country rather than down London where it limits people from say Scotland up North Manchester and that being able to get there so easily without booking hotels etc. Anyway, this year there's a few different things like there's over 200 different playing screens including 47 on the in the list. Um, it's the left field collection that's what it's called and I can go into more detail into that on another video if you'd like but I'm going on the main thing this time and there's going to be the Division, which is a game I actually haven't heard of. The new Rainbow Six, which is again popular franchise, and Assassin's Creed Syndicate, which if you've been following the franchise, you may or may not have. I'm not going to post any particular spoilers for those of you that haven't, but again, it's the latest in the franchise, so I don't know how far they're going to go with that, to be honest. I mean, I know they're getting quite up in the timelines now. We are all, well, I'm at least waiting for a modern era one, because I think that'd be quite good. Even though they have technically killed off Desmond, obviously going to a modern era, even if it's not necessarily now, now in the timeline, they could go preemptive now. So it begins, say, the start of Desmond's thing in the future thing where he may have been doing other stuff for the thing, for the, you know, for the rebellion, so to speak, because they are sort of the underdogs rather than the main guys, so, and then lead on to the newer characters and the newer areas and the newer plots, because it's got to come to a finale at some point, and I just don't know how far they're going to go with it in the past history sort of things before they get there. They might go through the World War and everything before they go there. Well, technically, they already did a scene from one of the wars, didn't they? But yeah, anyway, they've also got the Gfinity bringing... It says 110,000, but it also says 100,000 pros put in dollars. So I don't know if that's a typo, the 110,000 for esports. So it's not all in one competition, it's going to be across a few different ones, so there's obviously you can't enter now, this is the finale, so you'll be seeing like, the best of the best. But maybe you could enter for next year, I mean, I'm sure if you ask for details on how to take part in the competitions, and it's the finals of the Gfinity Champion of Champions for Counter-Strike Global Offensive and the Summer Masters for StarCraft 2. So, £100,000, well, not pound dollars prize bar. It's a shame they don't own in pounds because it is in England and it would be nice to have an actual prize pot in the English currency. But yeah, they obviously want to make it a bit cheaper because hundred thousand pounds sounds better than say fifty eight thousand pounds. Yeah, it's hundred thousand dollars rather than fifty eight thousand pounds. I noticed my mistake there. Because obviously if it was hundred thousand pounds I've got to put a higher price pot. Yeah, there's a few more things, but they haven't released too many more details to come. I will probably do more things on the come up to the actual event, and if I'm able to get into the event, I will bring you details from the event with actual filming and recording with sound <laughs> that hopefully works this year, whereas the sound didn't work last year, and I won't be having to travel to London on one hour sleep, so yeah, no falling asleep and <laughs> missing half of it. So yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.